Well, welcome back to another Saturday Night Smoke Show, and uh, we got all kinds of rations on the table, as you can see. We got a got an old MCI there. Does it have the accessory package? I don't think so. Swap it out of here real quick. Ah. Maybe, maybe this one does. Maybe. Anyway, all right. So this is what we're going to be having tonight which is a Bob's breakfast bowl, freeze-dried. There is not a contents list on here, nor is there a calorie count that I can see. I ugh, can't remember what the range of calories are on these things. Um, this is not, <laughs> this is not one of the mystery rations. This is an empty box, but uh, yeah, that's still going on. Tomorrow military ration museum live stream five o'clock sorry about the notification sounds excuse me you guys definitely should come over there and hang out and uh you know add your two cents on how the military ration museum's coming along and uh we definitely could use your help or sorry guys i'm turning all my notification noises off right now there we go, and one more with this one. Oh, I pretty much had this one done. Okay, but yeah, so I've got a couple things here. So when Gabe came in, he brought one of his buddies with him, and he gave me this bag of chips to try out. I told him that I would try them out on a live stream, so I got that. And then I got this other box here. I'm not exactly sure what's in this box, but weighs two pounds well two point zero eight two pounds point eight ounces so eight tenths of an ounce uh oh there's history savior what's up dude thanks for that super chat there let me read it here can't stay long but wanted to pop in and say hi and hope everyone is is well much love smoke well thank you there history savior uh history savior's got his contest going on as well and I just checked on his channel. He is over 600 subscribers now. So he's getting there pretty quick. Going to hit that 1,000 subscribers and do a giveaway. I'm not sure what he's giving away. I can't remember. But uh, definitely go over there and enter yourself to win. Because all you got to do is comment and be subscribed to his channel. That's it. That's all you got to do. Pretty simple. And it's, you know, it's free. Uh, I got this box here. Uh, let me look and see. Does it say who it's from? It does. I don't know if I should say. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Why I have it. Um, <laughs> or anything like that. And I can't even figure out how to open it. I think up here looks correct. Yep. This is it. The name on the box is Jeremiah. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to give away anybody's last name if they don't want it given away. Definitely not giving away no addresses or anything of that nature. Watch me spin the box around to the address. All I say, I'm not going to give away the address. Let's find out what this is. Because I don't know. Okay. Oh, I, okay. That, cool. Cool. All right. I think I know what this is now. Okay, that looks like a letter. This might be a letter down in here, too. Uh, make sure I got everything out of here. I think the rest is just packaging material. It is. All right. So this will most likely be the focus of next week's live stream. And, yes. Awesome. I'm actually really looking forward to this. This is the reproduction MCI. Oh, that's cool. Well, I don't know. That, that's like an old packing sheet. Mule combat individual right there. That's pretty cool, man. It's a, it's a kit, kitchen requisition. I don't know if y'all can read that or not, because I think it's a little blurry on my screen right now. Food service. Uh, kitchen requisition 
for use of this form, see the TC 1 502. But that, that's really cool to include in there. I'm going to bet that he probably includes one of those in every single order. And uh, here we got a note. Okay, so here he says he enclosed the beans and Frank Frankfurter chunks, MCIC ration, uh, that we had talked about over on eBay. He started making these for personal use. He must uh, do some reenactments and use for me and my friends at reenactments. Oh, yeah, here I am assuming. And was told I should try selling them. <clears throat> the goal was from the beginning, or wait, the goal was... The goal from okay. The goal from the beginning was to make a reusable ration to promote eating period correct at events that was as accurate as possible without being uh, absorbingly expensive. I try to keep the cost down, not only so people are not afraid to carry them at the events because they will likely get beat up, um, but to also help promote. An already expensive hobby. As you said, uh, sourcing the cans, especially the medium-sized ones, is not very easy. It's not a very easy task and does contribute to the most of the cost, which is 35 bucks for one of these. Uh, with it, He said he's got very, very little profit margin on there, and he's, I know he's putting a ton of time into making these, so honestly, he, it, there's no profit margin. You're he, getting paid very little for his time. Um, he uses templates. Uh, my grandpa must have must have taken uh, about half of them during Vietnam uh, before he came home, and uh, grandma got packages weekly. So uh, we eat Christmas dinner with some form of NBA officer's gold flatware. <laughs> cool. That's really cool. And uh, and I'm now working on a long range patrol ration reproduction. I hope to have it listed sometime in the next two weeks. Oh, wow, so that might be coming up soon. I think he sent this about a week and a half ago. I just got it the other day out of the mail, though. Uh, he said, I hope you enjoy the ration and find it comparable to the originals. I'm thinking of making a deluxe one that would have even more closely in resemblance to the originals, but it's also more expensive since it would require contracting a professional collar matching and aerosol aerosolized can't paint filling paint uh, filling the cigarette packs and a number of other tweaks to the packaging uh, hope you and yours are doing well and that the ration tastes better than the cod liver oil <laughs> the cod liver oil wasn't actually bad uh, to be honest I, I really enjoyed the cod liver oil but all right that's awesome man and uh, you know what I would I would go through this but we're gonna make this we're gonna we're gonna leave this as a surprise because I'm not going to look at it. I've seen pictures of it on eBay, but I haven't held it in my hand, so I can't tell you like how it feels or anything like that. I can give you a, a idea how it looks in pictures, but you can look these up on eBay. I believe I just saw one up last night or night before that was still up, so I think he still has some of these over there, but I, I know he's getting low on his stock. He has to be, but uh, as far as the reproductions go, that one right there is by far the best that I've seen so far. I've seen some attempts, I would call them, at reproductions, but I've never seen any that I would call, I mean, really up to snuff. Not a whole lot of effort seemed like went into some of the other ones that I've seen. Um, but it's also difficult to make a very accurate reproduction ration. So... Okay, so I don't know what this is. I have no clue. This could have nothing to do with the channel, and this could be something to do with the channel. I don't know. I got this in the mailbox the other day. It, it's some sort of cloth. I mean, it could be a t-shirt, I'm assuming, because of uh, the fact that it came from Uniform Fulfillment Center in Douglas Hills, uh, Rhode Island, I think. No, R.D., Douglas, 777 Douglas Hill Road. Oh, Suite 100, uh, Georgia. So it says in Georgia. All right. I'll cut this bad boy open. Right here. Like so. Maybe. Try not to, to bore you guys. 
and just get to the point so we can dig into the the Minotaur ration and uh, try those chips. Man, I didn't, didn't have a drink for tonight. Not that I don't have any, but uh, all right, just gonna rip it open here. Okay, what is this? What is this? This is for me, right? What is this? Uh, what? Hang on. Did somebody send this as like a prank or something? This is my name in my P.O. box. With an order. Um. Okay. Well. <laughs> I got a woman's shirt. Of some type. Like a scrubs shirt. Yeah. I I'm. I'm totally lost here guys. Uh. Yeah, so there's an Eeyore uh, live in the moment. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, I guess it is, because there's Winnie the Pooh. All right, this is dumb. Uh, sorry, guys. But, yeah, it has my name, my address, the whole nine yards on it. Uh, and I can tell you 1,000% that I did not order this. I don't know if this is some sort of free promotion. Need to return and exchange the item? No, this is not a free promotion. What the freaking heck, man? I need to check my bank account and make sure that I'm not getting billed for this. Nope, my wife definitely did not order this. This wouldn't uh, this wouldn't be something that she would order anyways, but I am going to go ask her very quickly. I'll be right back. Just so I can confirm. It's 100% confirmed she absolutely did not order that. So, I don't know. That's a weird situation. Maybe somebody uh, maybe somebody decided to send me some random shirt. Um, I'm going to open these. These are jalapeno cheddar. And William, which is Gabe's buddy, said that these are really good. Oh, no. They've already opened up. They might be stale. Dang it. Oh, wait. I think he opened them. They might be pretty stale by now. Uh, they smell kind of cheddary. Hopefully they're crunchy still. Mm. They're a little stale. I didn't know they were open. They got some heat to them. A little bit. As far as the flavor goes though. I'm not getting much other than the heat. Hmm. Old Dutch is the brand. Oh, Super Chat, got you, Miss Marilyn. Thank you, guys. Oh, there's cyanide cookies or Dan in Australia. Were you not expecting a Scrubs Top Smoky? <laughs> nope. Sure wasn't, man. Um, <laughs> thank you for that super chat, Dan. Yeah, uh, I have no clue, dude. I have no clue what that was about. I've been expecting to get weird things in my P.O. Box for years, and it hasn't happened. So, if that's the worst of it so far, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> like I said, it doesn't make any sense like how I ended up with that, and it does absolutely have my name and address on it you know somebody's going to steal something from you out of your bank account or you know to hack your bank account or whatever they're not going to order something and have it sent to your mailbox you know what i mean so it just doesn't make any sense to me in the overall all right we have 
I want to talk about this too. This is this is really cool. So I'll talk about this here in just a few. But the Sailor Boy Pilot Bread. Really interesting story behind this, and I know I'm not going to remember the details of this story, but Bob told me the story of the pilot bread, and basically it kind of uh, took the place of hardtack for the military. Very interesting story, but actually you really need to hear the story about the hardtack first for the, the story about the pilot bread to make a hundred percent sense to you but it's i can just tell that story and, and it'll it'll make enough sense but uh the the heart attack does have a good bit to do with the story and why it was made how much it cost and, and all this other crazy stuff like the, the contracts for making that stuff were insane but we'll talk about that later anyway there should be a winner somewhere out there the, I don't know, one or two winners, something probably by now, uh, coming up for the, the main winners out there. So if you haven't opened them and checked them to see if you've won, maybe you should do that. <laughs> maybe. It's not like a, uh, it's not like a bag ration that you can't open. Like, look, this one right here, we can open it up. Oh, and it's got fortune cookies in it. You know what? I'm going to eat one of those right now. But, see, I can open this up and look at it. Um, enhanced accessory kit has 140 calories in it. And some soy sauce. And cashew chicken, which I'm going to enjoy. Oh, and a miso soup. And all-day snack of corn nuts. And cheese spread with bacon. <gasps> Pilot bread crackers. And a couple drink mixes down there on the bottom. But this is not our focus today. I just... Just for pointing out the fact that you could open these and uh, check to see if you're a wiener or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got the Minotaur bag down here on the bottom. Little Minotaur bag. Throw your rations in or whatever. I think Pop said he was going to sell some rations in these bags or something. I can't remember. He, he could tell you better. <clears throat> I know he's going to sell these bags. But the, those rations fit in there really nicely, actually. Let's see how two fits in there. So two of these would be more than enough for a day's worth of food. I mean, honestly, it'd be enough food in there for two people for the full day, in my opinion. So we split the meal. Um, two of those fit in there pretty much perfect. I mean, pretty much. A little bit of room on the top to... Draw it closed there. Let me do that for you and show you what I mean. There you go. And then throw this sucker on your back and take off or tie it to a tie it to your ruck or your backpack that you're <coughs> traveling with. All right. There's the April special, which is cashew chicken. And uh, I think there's a couple different Asian-inspired cashew chickens, but. Uh, yeah, Minotaur bag. Let me put this right here out of the way. Along with the Minotaur bag, I also have... I don't have my old Smokey shirt on me. But I do have the, the Minotaur shirt on right now. Nothing on the back of this one, but I, I do, like I said, I've got an old Smokey one that I need to show you guys. And uh, you can get those over there as well. I don't know the cost or anything like that on the uh, shirts. I should have asked, but I didn't. <clears throat> I got mine. Uh, Bob gave it to me for free. His wife was kind enough to spend her time to make me a t-shirt. Actually, two t-shirts. And we're also going to go through this. We're going to go through here. And probably just have like the B unit out of it. And then uh, maybe check out the rest of it at some other time. But look at that tuna. Look at the tuna. Like that can is freaking amazing. It looks perfect. There, I mean, there's not even a, the slightest bit of bulge going on there at all. There's a peanut butter and pear quarters, which did not survive. They're they're gooey ooey. Yeah, look at that black tar coming out of there. 
going to end up ruining the box for sure. But, oh, this, oh, oh, good. Thank goodness it didn't get on this. Look there. Can opener's in there. And, oh, man. Well, I'm going to set that B unit back there. I'm going to have to at least wash it off before we go any further. And an accessory packet that's got matches, chewing gun, toilet paper, coffee, instant cream substitute, sugar, and salt. And a spoon, obviously. But I won't put that can opener back in there. I'm going to set this off to the side for now. I got the B unit out so I won't forget it. Oh, hey, there's Dub C. Hey, old Smokey, and hello, everyone. Hope you all have a great weekend. Well, hey, Dub C, thanks for that super chat, man. Whew, I super appreciate it. And you guys, uh, what video do you have up now, Dub? Because I think he's been putting, like, two or three videos out a week. Been cranking them out. I don't know how he does it and works a full-time job at the same time. Like, <coughs> it's crazy. But, yeah, man, thank you for that super chat, my dude. Of course, my nose is going to start running. I'm going to sound like an imbecile as I'm talking. Did I miss a different super chat? I think I did. Um, wait, no. I think Dan's just comes through differently since it's Australian. Maybe. Let me just scroll all the way back as far as I can right now. No, I can't go back. If there was one, I missed it. I don't think I did, though. Okay. Let me fix the camera a little bit here. All right there all right whoa there's mr nay ask dan about the scrubs what wait did he do that no you didn't do that <laughs> surely he didn't do that i don't understand okay yes i did i saw history saviors and i saw dan's and i saw uh i saw uh uh, uh dub c's i think i got them all i think i got all three wait did i miss Hang on. Oh, and I just got Renee's. Renee's super chat. That's right. What am I what am I thinking? So, okay, Dan. What's up with the uh what's up with the scrubs? Was that you? <laughs> Was it? It kind of looks like one of those products like a company would be promoting and they would give away something like that to see if you like their product or something. I just looked through that book. That's one of the most expensive ones in the book. Really? I guess my wife just looked through the book, and I guess that's one of the most expensive ones in the book, is what she just said. <laughs> hey, old Smokey Reviews have to make uh, do with Nathan's in between. Hey, old Smokey Reviews have to make do with Nathan in between. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, yep, I apologize, man. Okay. I'm looking to see if I'm getting an answer. But if it was me... I'm not saying it was me. I would have told you about it. Okay. All right. Wait. It, is that that is that the thing that you ordered that I'm supposed to send to you? That's not it, is it? It wouldn't be. It's it's a small. There's no way. That's for like a little tiny. That's for like my wife. That would fit her. Maybe. Possibly. It looks like it's. What are you giving it to me for? You want me to open it? Can. I know you won't wear it. You're not in the medical field. I'm sure we have a neighbor or something that could wear it though. Desi or her mom. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, three in one hazelnut coffee. Getting started with the with the Minotaur AFR. Yeah, that was just a, an an interesting. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. Okay. Yes. It's solved. <laughs> it's solved. Good deal. All right, I just saw that pop up on my screen. Good deal. Okay, and then we have, this is Bob's breakfast bowl. Ingredients are, that's not going to work, Stella. Sorry about the dog toy, guys. Ingredients are freeze-dried eggs, freeze-dried ham, freeze-dried hash brown potatoes, freeze-dried pork sausage, and country pepper gravy. That sounds all right, man. The only thing I see that's missing from that list, in my opinion, is cheese. I don't see any cheese, but we might just remedy that. Oh, look here. 
We got a full blown toothbrush, fresh mint. I wonder if it's, does that mean it has the toothpaste already in it? Probably not. Got a toothbrush up in there. We got a, I'm gonna mispronounce this, but a Rajan or Rajan, Rajan, Rajan. This is Russian, Rajan dark chocolate. Let me put the box up here. Let's lay the items out right here. That. Let me just take it out of this bag. We don't wait. Yeah, I I think I might need that bag actually. I was gonna say I don't need it, but I think I do. Here's our fresh mint uh, toothbrush and toothpaste. They they seem to be a set from the same manufacturer. Here we have all day snack. I'm gonna stutter it. Corn nuts. January 2021. What zero zero two six. Freeze-dried fruit cocktail, strawberries and pineapples. I don't remember the last time I had freeze-dried pineapples. It's been a while. What else do we have here? Oh, here we have a Plackers Micro Mint Dental Flosser. These things are the bomb. Boy, that's weird. It doesn't have the toothpick on the other side. Wait, is that? Oh, okay. We'll check that out. Here we have a piece of hard tech. See the warning on there? Yeah. That's no joke. Extremely freaking hard. Extremely. It's actually, it's, it's how it's supposed to be. And we have a Mediterranean citrus berry drink mix. And I think this is it. Last but not least, we got the cherry drink mix. With added electrolytes, it says. That one says, that one also says electrolyte replenishment. Hmm. Wait a second. All right. Yeah, I don't know how many calories is in this. I don't believe anything actually says. Okay, that says 525. It says how many calories is in a lot of this stuff. 180. Uh, nothing on that. 390. No calorie count on that. I'm not even going to try to figure this one out. 1.5 ounce, 43 gram chocolate bar. Nope, I have no clue. And 260 and 255. So basically 5, 6, 7, uh, plus 5, let's call it 12. 15, 16, um, we call this, uh, we're, we're looking at at least 2,100 calories here, minimum, I would say, and that's really a rough guess, a rough just estimate. This takes the longest, so we're going to get it started right now. And it calls for, I can't remember, he told me the other day, it says 10 ounces. You know I'm not adding 10 ounces. I'm going to add more like, I'll probably add seven and a half. Three quarters of the water. Oh, there's your look inside. I got to try a piece of egg. I think that's egg, right? It's yellow. I'll give it a try. Mm, yep, that's egg. Potatoes are these strips right here. Mm, those are those are tough. Not really meant to eat dry. What's that? Hang on a second. What is that? Is that ham? Yep, freeze dried ham. Got to try that too. Mmm. Now that, a lot of flavor coming through in that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's get some water started, and then I'll get everything on the tray. I just want to get this, <clears throat> I want to get this started because it takes, uh, 
at minimum 15 minutes and the longer you give it the, the better it'll probably which I don't know, any, everything in there should reconstitute pretty well. Okay, I said seven and a half ounces is what I said. Get it right up. All right. Here we go. All right, let's get some water into this bad boy. And this water is extremely, extremely hot. Make sure it saturates everything. Squeeze all the air out. Seal it up. Give it a shake. And I'm going to set it off to the side. All right, tray time. I'll tell you what, man, that uh, corned beef hash from last week has been haunting me all week, man. I, I've been craving another corned beef hash that good. That thing was absolutely perfect in every way. The uh, oatmeal cookie bar was probably the best one I've ever had. The corned beef was absolutely amazing. The crackers, the jelly was even perfect. That thing had to be stored tremendously well. Okay, so what I got to do here, first things first, breaking that in half. All right, we're going to use this bag and the second, well, we'll we'll take a look at this real quick here in just a second. Which drink? Uh, we've seen the cherry before, so I'm going to stick it up there. Oh, I'm going to have the hazelnut coffee and the Mediterranean citrus berry drink mix. And we have our tooth care off to the side there. One thing we don't have is a napkin or anything like that. Oh, it's probably in the accessory kit. Where did it? Where did that go? Actually, what did I do with the accessory pack? I know it was in there, wasn't it? Huh, maybe not. Okay, Bob, if you are in there, is this supposed to have an accessory packet? Did, did I, or did I, I might've dropped it or something, I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. Not that big a deal right now. I don't know if it's even supposed to have one since it's got this three-in-one coffee on, on the side here, and that's really mainly what your, uh, your accessory pack is all about, the coffee, cream, and sugar. Hey, CT's here. Uh, it was in there. Check the other rations. Okay, I will do that. Here's your three-in-one coffee. How much water does this take? Oh, whoa. Holy crap. My goodness. This takes 16.9 fluid ounces of water. That's a lot. That is a lot. All right. Well, here we go. Hot water. I'm only going to put enough in there to where it'll still fit in my cup. But I'll mix it up in the bag and then uh, dump it over in the cup there. Real quick. Oh, whoa. That blew up like a balloon. God, that's so hot. I think it's, it's probably mixed, but look how quickly. Ah. Whoo, it's so hot, guys. So hot. Try to dump it out without burning myself. Did I get it all? I did. Look at that. 
That I would call clean. Okay. Uh, the April special. Grab the accessory kit out of it. spare accessory packet right there so I'll put that in that ration later yeah that water is screaming hot let's check out this uh, accessory kit real quick these bags are super nice too I'm not not gonna take anything away from that because got a nice little resealable bag that'll keep all your your accessory kit items that you don't use it'll keep them all nice and dry wait a second Okay, so where's our spoon? And we've got us another. We've got another one of these, which I don't think you're supposed to have two of. Maybe you are. All right. Just gonna dump it out right here. I mean, you can read the list of everything that's supposed to be in there. You can pause this right now and it'll tell you. Anyway, we got two coffee mate creamers we have two tasters choice house blend coffees wait nope there's three sorry there's three coffee creamers there three coffee creamers three sugars and two coffees you also have your salt and pepper you've got a thing of smarties candies little sweet tarts you have a fresh nap wet nap now this is for after you eat your fingers get all sticky and whatnot you use this to clean up after your meal you use this which is a purell single before your meal, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. So as you can see on the front right there, you split it this way. Kind of stick your finger in the middle right there, and it'll break open. I don't want this to end up in my coffee. So I'm going to set it off here to the back. And put this on my hands. There it is, single use. All right. And it's just enough to really wet your hands down, but it's not so much that you need to like dry your hands off on a towel after if you've ever had that experience with the uh, with hand sanitizer. So, there it is, wiped it in, all dry, getting nice and soft now my hands are. And uh yeah, pretty simple. I do have a Canadian napkin right in there. I'll use. Oh, one, two other things. Two, two more things. There's a beef bouillon cube, which could be beef or chicken, and two aqua tabs for purifying your water. And I think I can't remember how much water that purifies. I think it purifies a liter, if I'm not mistaken. Can't remember next this again 16.9 ounces we're just going to dump a whole bottle of water into this because that is what it says to do and man that makes it really simple especially being out in the field i mean you know here at the house i can measure stuff all day long i want to eat that that looks like food <laughs> it's like food to me where's my bottle of water here it is 16.9 fluid ounces of water good old stinking walmart brand not a fan of walmart if you didn't know not a fan not a fan but uh it's really the only thing around here there it is a whole bottle 
right down in there. I will dump this out for us to take a look at after I mix it up. started spilling it of course that's my mo if you didn't know i like to spill things next thing we got to get done is the uh the dessert item which i'll show you what that's going to be in just a second this probably won't hold all this there we go I'm gonna try that right now out of the bag. Hmm. Tangy. Not too sweet. Definitely got a. Uh, I don't know what that citrus is. It's some kind of citrus that I'm not recognizing. Hmm. Like mango, maybe? some mango some like almost like plum or something which isn't citrus but where is that considered citrus i don't know i don't think plum. i don't know maybe plum is citrus though it can be kind of orangey pink on the inside set that over here next okay let's take a look at this real quick this is a piece of hard tech that uh oh it's actually broken did not expect that to happen um this stuff right here is no joke i mean it is hard tack so what i'm supposed to do with this is i'm going to take the big piece here drop it down in oh no not this bag sorry this bag Right here, we're going to take half the chocolate bar, half the hardtack, and half the freeze-dried fruit up there, the strawberries that are in it, put it all in this bag together, dump about two ounces of water in it, and leave it set. So that's my fault. These things are gooey on the inside, and I did smash it pretty bad was not smashed before I did this. Looks like it has melted at one point or another. That could have been my fault as well. Because I left it in the hot car. Alright, let's pick out the strawberries out of this fruit mix. Um, I'm just going to dump it out back here. Lots of strawberry dust in this pouch here. All right. I'm trying one of these freeze dried pineapples. Hmm. Lots of flavor. Wow. Just exploding with pineapple flavor. Pineapples don't freeze dry as well as some other fruits. What I'm, what I'm gathering from chewing this up. Want all this dust. I feel like there's probably. I'm lacking on the strawberries here a little bit. And I have some of my own strawberries that I could put in here. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. Let's 
Sorry, guys. I'm focused on getting as much of this in there as I can. Because it's going to have a lot to do with the flavor, I think. All right. So this is making some sort of, some, like a strawberry shortcake, kind of. Chocolate strawberry shortcake, I would call it. Two ounces of hot water. This measuring cup does not go down that far, but that's about two ounces right there. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, is that leaking? It is. Shit. Uh... Uh, what am I going to do here? There we go. Sealing that up. And I'm just going to let it sit. Because if I shake it up, that water is going to go all over the place. And maybe I wasn't supposed to mix it in that bag. I was probably supposed to mix it in like the accessory packet bag or something. Or I could have used... What else could I have used? Definitely could have used the accessory packet bag. That's probably what I was supposed to do and I didn't do it. Oh well. That was my fault. Alright, let me get this trash out of the way. That's it. I'm gonna have to add some water to that to be able to use that. It seems like he might have said to put some of that in the breakfast bowl too, but can't remember. I'm just gonna dump a little bit of hot water on it back here. Whoop. And dump it all over my table. Also, in the process brand new background and I just dumped water on it. Super hot water like that usually cleans up pretty good though. Hopefully that that's what will happen there. All right. What else did I start in the beginning? I can't remember. I, I, this has probably had its 15 minutes so let's get it out or at least look at it. Spoon. All right. That's the spoon. I think I'm going to use the longer spoon here so I can get down there and get a stir. See what's going on. That looks about right to me. I mean, I guess maybe I could add a little bit more water to that. I will. I'll add just, just a shade more, but now I put seven and a half ounces in there, almost on the dot. There's not a uh, half ounce measurement on that measuring cup that I have, so that's why I said almost. But give it another minute after I stir it up here. want it to be the proper consistency that it's intended to be. Uh, in my opinion, that looked about how I would want it. Not too wet, not too runny. Alright. Here we go. I think I'm just going to dump it out. I think it's fine. I think it's ready to go. I'm going to use a bowl. It is a breakfast bowl. Let's see how much food is in this little bag. It's a pretty big bag, actually. 
Holy cow. <laughs> Jeez. There it is. And I just dropped someone on the floor. Because I'm brilliant. Alright, what am I going to do with this? Hold on just a second, guys, while I get this put up. This is the time I want to stop and say thank you guys for hanging out here and listening to me bumble around uh, trying to fix food here for the last 40, 50 minutes. Um, there it is, Bob's Breakfast Bowl from Minotaur. You guys order anything over there, don't forget to use your code OS10 to get yourself 10% off. Never forget that. There's a lot of the potatoes. Might have been hanging out at the bottom. Looks like I just need to mix it up good. There's a big old chunk of ham. It's definitely had its 15 minutes, I do believe. Which is what it was supposed to have, but uh, probably even got more than that, honestly. All right. Got corn corn nuts I still need to open. This is an all day bag of corn nuts. There's about half of them out on the tray right now, which is plenty. More than I need. More than I'll eat. Corn nuts. Mm. If those things weren't so hard, I feel like I would enjoy them more. But they're a very hard snack. Very hard. All right. Bob's Breakfast Bowl going in. There's a piece of ham. Make sure I get some potatoes, eggs, gravy you can't miss. Let's see how well this is spiced and flavored. All the ingredients, I know I like all the ingredients that I read on there, so let's see how well this is uh, put together. Um, try soaking them for science. What am I What am I soaking? Hang on. Oh, corn nuts? Okay. All right, yeah, I'll throw some over in some water. All right, here we go. Down the hatch. First flavor I got was ham, which to me is a good thing. Then I'm picking up some sausage too. I don't. I guess that's there's little chunks of sausage like right there's one. Huh. Let me see if I want to try to just eat a chunk of sausage. Hmm. Yeah. That tastes like breakfast sausage right there. Okay, soak some corn nuts while I'm uh, talking. Put a uh, uh, little hand of them right there. Give them some hot water and see what happens. There we go. They're nice and salty and crunchy and uh, corny. <laughs> they got that nice corn flavor, like a like a corn chip, really. Tastes a lot like a Frito. Just making sure I get get them covered. All right. So the hard tack is still sitting back here doing its thing. I'm going to flip it over. The water is no longer warm on that. All right. Give this a try. Again, the egg I'm not picking up so much, honestly. I do taste the potatoes, though. Also get the texture of the potatoes, which is good. They're not 
tough or crunchy or anything. Everything's reconstituted very well. If this was mine to make, I would have left the gravy out of it. Um, and probably put some cheese in there instead. Because you gotta you got to like white gravy to like this. I don't hate white gravy, but it's not my first pick. But at the same time, this is pretty daggone good. Hmm. Now, I happen to have some Minotaur cheese here. And since I have tried this now, and eaten it, and given you the initial flavor profile, oh yeah, picked me up a new knife while I was there. Got an orange one now, versus the green one that I had before. I think the orange one would be a lot easier to find if you dropped it outside. And uh, for a couple bucks, I know you can pick up a pocket knife cheaper, but those pocket knives, first of all, are junk. <laughs> the ones you can get for like a dollar or two. This thing right here is literally razor sharp, uh, which is what I really like about it. All right, so I'm going to take a pretty sizable chunk of cheese and some of it just went over in the corn nuts so that'll be okay and I'm gonna put it right there I may end up wanting to put some more of this in there I don't know ah, I'm making a mess making a mess all right let me mix it up as long as that cheese gets nice and wet, as far as the reconstant, I'm just going to put all that over in there with the corn nuts, heck with it. Alright. Some cheese to the mix. It does not need any salt. It's not overly salty like sometimes you'll get with, uh, with ration type food. Even in some of the freeze-dried stuff, sometimes it'll be overly salty. This is not that way. This feels like a nice, fresh meal, and it tastes like a nice, fresh meal. I think the only thing I'm lacking is a piece of toast. All right. I'll try this with some cheese in it. Mmm. Mr. Super Chat. Hang on just one second. Keep losing my my napkin. So, Mr. Mulder, uh, Mulder thirteen says, "Good show, Smokey." Anxious to see the hard tack results. Well, let's. Uh, I was looking for my. Hang on, let me find my napkin. I don't know what I've done with it. What did I do with it? Dang it. Maybe I dropped it on the floor. Dropped one of them on the floor. Ugh. I can't. I don't know. What I've done with it. Anyway, uh, thank you for that super chat, Mulder. And let's find out. Actually, let me tell you all how the cheese went here. Because, uh... It definitely added something that it was missing, in my opinion. I feel like the cheese really might have took it over the top in, for my palate. Mm. Gave it a little more richness. But it's super savory to begin with. The, uh, the sausage and the ham and the gravy... It's all very savory. How many? I think this was 390 calories, if I'm not mistaken. It's a huge portion, too. Lots of food here. That could easily feed me and one of my family members. 
without question. Now, before I move on to the hard tack, mm, I'm going to try the, the coffee. This is the three in one coffee. That's a really nice cup of coffee. Could add just a little bit more sugar from, to my taste, but uh, that's what's good with the accessory packet is you have that option. Where did that spoon go? I'm losing my mind. What did I do with this? Oh, I'll put it in the cheese. <clears throat> it's all right. Pull out one of these right here. There we go. See if that done what I needed. And yeah, thank you for that super chat there, Mulder. All right, well, let's dig into the hardtack. There we go. I do believe this is a wheat base. I mean, it's it's definitely dark in the in the sense of being wheat. Give it a try. Hmm. Holy cow! So I can feel every layer. So hardtack, when you make it, as far as I know, this is the way I've heard it was made, is the dough is folded over and over and over and over and over. And then it's triple baked, I believe, to remove every single bit of moisture, which is why it's so hard. It has a... Um, a definite wheat flavor just slightly 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 a little bit of sweetness on the tongue the chew is is unreal i don't know how long it took me to chew that up but it took me a minute i think this is going to follow that up pretty well though we'll find out hmm I added too much cheese to that. That one spoonful was too much. Let me go over here to some of it that I didn't mix it into. Mm. So it's very thick too, and that's my fault for not adding more water. During the Civil War, soldiers would stuff bits of heart attack down their rifle barrel and playfully fire it at the enemy for a joke. Really? I didn't know they did that. Gotta have the uh, Dusseldorf mustard for the White Castles, too. I don't know what that is. I'm not a White Castle fan. I haven't eaten White Castle in probably 20, about 20 years. Uh, yeah, roundabout, somewhere along in that. The last time I ate it, I remember being with my best friend that I was working with at the time, which he's passed away now, but I hated White Castle. Got some of the sliders, and they were just awful. I Maybe it was where I was at, which, I, which I'd eaten them other places, and they were very similar. I just didn't like them. The quality sucked. The meat sucked. Um, it, it seems like the buns were soggy and sucked. Uh, you know, maybe White Castle's picked it up some since then, but, uh, I mean, they've had to be doing something right because they're still around, you know. I don't know why. I keep going back for more of this. I need to take a break off of that. Let's find out if corn nuts absorb water or not ooh um that's not good <laughs> so
so one was still crunchy. The other one was a very weird, hard, soggy, if that makes any sense. It wasn't soft, but it was soggy. <laughs> I know that sounds like it contradicts itself because it does. But, see that one? They soften up a little bit on the outside. But on the inside, they stay pretty daggone crunchy. Now, I will say they are easier to eat. So, you know, if you had trouble eating these and you had a way to keep the, the water hot, I think that would actually be pretty good if you could keep the water hot that these are in. Hmm. That cheese <laughs> accidentally got in there. Kind of added a nice little zing to them, too. Huh. Well, that was an unexpected <gasps> unexpected turn of events. I'm just going to leave the spoon down in this cheese. I don't think it'll hurt anything. I will be using that again probably sometime rather soon next oh yeah dessert okay I've got some of that okay we gotta see if the dessert hopefully it didn't leak out there it is I need to squish it all up but I can't, because all that, I don't know, I'm going to have to do it anyway, just going to have to, I added less than two ounces of water, and I added more than half the hardtack to this, ugh, ugh. knuckle to crush it. It's not going to happen. Ugh. Keep sliding around. Ugh. This is definitely not ready yet. I wouldn't think. This is what Bob told me to do with it. And it would make some sort of uh, chocolate strawberry dessert thing. I want to try it as it is right now because it was only supposed to maybe I was supposed to break up the hard tack first I cannot remember seems like I wasn't though I know he's got some banana stuff coming too which uh, I'm looking forward to all right here we go let's give it a try hmm you know that's not that's not bad definitely a dessert definitely has a the hard tack still kind of crunchy on the inside it's softened up a bunch on the outside the strawberries and the chocolate mm. mixed into that that liquid make this like chocolatey fruit soup kind of look at that Yeah, that tastes really good, actually. The hardtack's not bad either. It tastes way better in here than it does just on its own. It reminds me of something I've had before. Almost kind of reminds me of like pie. Like a like a strawberry pie. Yeah, 
this is not bad. I want to stand here and eat the whole thing. That's what's going to happen. Why do you guys watch me? <laughs> Sorry. It's hitting the spot, though. that off to the side time for the wet fresh nap because I need it fingers are all sticky can't find my paper towel at least I have this thing thank goodness My hand started off clean too, you know? I think I've tried everything except uh, the candy bar on its own. I'm gonna keep this bad boy handy. All right. I've had these before. I used to get them at this uh, international market that I used to go to. Give it a try. It's got like this chocolate ganache in the, in the center. It seems to have a pretty high cocoa content because it's got quite a good, uh, quite a bit of the. I don't know, not a lot, but some of the bitterness that you get with the dark chocolate. Yeah, I like that. That chocolate bar is not bad. Okay, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have drank that after that. Can't even really taste this after eating that. But, I bet I can taste these, which I think they're kind of absorbing some moisture out of the air because my air conditioner is broke. With this... I don't think they'd mix very well, Renee. Oh, you mean this? There's not enough fruit, really, to fool with it. After I picked half the strawberries out, there's only like two bites there, and it's... See how it's... It's already sticky. Where it's pulling moisture out of the air. It means I have to eat this right now, or it's not... It's not going to be much good. What is it, hmm? Miss Marilyn, again, smoky what? Uh, it's not hot, really, Carla, but it's not cool either. It's been raining all day, and I would say it's probably, I don't know, I'll tell you exactly how hot it is here in just one second. I will... Let's see. It's 65 degrees where I'm at right now, but the humidity is extremely high. Um, so, while I was at Bob's... Hold on a second. Anyway, <clears throat> while I was at Bob's, I saw like some new products that he was making as far as the Minotaur stuff. <clears throat> he had a chocolate peanut butter cup cheesecake thing that looked like it was going to be awesome. I didn't get to try that one. But if you guys seen the video that he put out, I think he's probably put it out by now that I filmed with him. Uh, he, he just off the wall asked me, like, what freeze-dried mane would you like to see made? And I, this probably even exists, but I was like, a good steak and macaroni and cheese. Like, 
actual nice chunks of steak, and some good macaroni and cheese. And uh, he had already had it working, had already been working on that. I didn't know that, but freaking awesome. And it's going to end up in the, that big new, I think it's called Aries, new ration he's doing. But he's also got banana stuff is what I'm excited about. The chocolate banana cheesecake. Uh, he's got a root beer float dessert beverage. Excuse me. Um, and I guess he did launch the Aries, or it's launching tonight. Um, so and that should already be on the website. So, cool stuff. Cool, 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 cool. I got to finish this fruit because it's just, I mean, like I said, it's it's just sticking together. And it was much warmer in, out, outside earlier today. And then it rained. Got humid. And now it's humid in here. Yeah, I can't recall ever having freeze-dried pineapples outside of like a, a freeze-dried fruit cocktail. Like the military one. I mean, it tastes just like pineapple, though. But if you guys go over there... Oh, man. To MRE Nation. Or, uh... To Minotaur, or MRE Nation, for, for that matter. Either or. Don't forget to use your code OS10. Chocolate, banana, uh, peanut butter. Chocolate, peanut butter, banana... Cheesecake coming. I think there might already be a chocolate cheesecake, but I haven't seen or had that. I'm going to go to rinse this off because I don't want to end up risking. Oh, no. No. Dang it. Okay. Freaking great. So, showed you guys I had on that new shirt. Let's just take a real quick look here. At what I did. Oh yeah. That's the strawberry dessert stuff. Right there. Showcase that. With the. I already tried to wipe it off with the hand wipe. It's not happening. I'm an idiot. What was I going to. Oh yeah. I was going to get to rinse this off. That's cool. I'll be right back guys. Right back. Sorry about that, guys. So this B unit is exactly 
42 years old this month. So, let's see, what do I got here? Oh, there's a 1943 speaker company. It's a speaker. One of the first companies to make P38s. Uh, just want to get something from over here. What was it? Da, 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 da. Can't remember. Oh, huh. Totally forgot about this. The spice kits that I, I've had these. This is not something that I just got. But, dang it. Yeah, that's the, the Minotaur spice and then the uh, Haiti spice. And then there's a spice kit right there on top. I totally meant to use that during this, but I forgot. And I'm going to have to heat this up after. And I can't heat it in this, this Melmac bowl. Cannot do that. All right. 42. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. I was going after a smoke. Can't remember what I've done with them. They're in... They're in a box somewhere. Uh, I think it's this box. It is this box. Got stuff sitting here from Dan, too. Three different jerkies from Dan. Been eating on these clinkers, too. There's a massive amount of clinkers in there. Cadbury clinkers. I get the hankering for them. I just uh, just eat a few of them. They're pretty good. Is this pack empty? It is. Oh man. Oh come on, man. Come on, man. You guys know who that is, right? Commander and Queef. <laughs> oh, Super Chat. Those, if anybody wants them, um, that I'm sending a box to already, I will include them in the box. That's a pack from 88 or 89. Super Chat from Dan. Going to the Super Chat from Dan. Well, I'm getting ready to go to work. Or, uh, well, I'm getting ready for work. And where are my Harry Potter scrubs, Smokey? You can change into the Eeyore scrubs. <laughs> uh into the Eeyore Scrubs top, and we would make a great team. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think it'll fit me, man. Uh, if it would fit me, I probably would have already tried it on. <laughs> uh, you know I wouldn't have, but anyway. <laughs> All right, thanks for that super chat, Dan. And uh, good luck at work. Have a safe, Have a safe night at work. The only pack I have that's open right now are these Camel Wads. God, these things are freaking... I mean, that's a man's cigarette right there. I'm going to tell you. A man smoking cigarettes right there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Them things are no joke. I mean, this doesn't look anything different than, really, much different than a pack that you buy today that I, I don't think. Uh, grab my lighter. Okay. Hmm. Let's check out before I go any further. Since I got two of these, let's check out. Oh, there it is. The plackers. I think you do this for the toothpick part of it, and then I think it might. I think it breaks off there actually. And then you use that right there. You're going to hang your teeth. And then it's minty. Fresh. Mm-hmm. Yep. It works very well. Mm-hmm. And it just shoved one of my mustache hairs into my mouth and in between my teeth. That was cool. <laughs> uh, all right. 
B units cleaned up, kind of. There's something on it. What is that? Oh, it's tobacco. So the camel wide. Let me give it a good puff. Actually, I need this toothpick. <laughs> mm hmm. Got it. Nice. That was going to bug me if I didn't get that. And that thing's minty. Like the, the, the floss on it is flavored. Minty. A little bit sweet. A little bit minty. But look at the seal on that. Look at that seam. It's almost sacrilegious to open this up. Because if that is still good, if it stays stored properly, uh, this B unit I feel like could be edible 30, 40 more years down the road without any real issues. Without having much of a flavor change. But, that's what we do here. We do it in the name of science. Do it in the name of history. Do these things hold up or do they not? And the fellow that sent me the reproduction. I need to start opening these cans with one of those can openers. I need a good one. I need, I need a good can opener. I'm going to have to stop using these so I can preserve the cans for... The folks that are for that fella, actually, I'll just save them for him. Uh, that's making the reproductions. That way, these cans don't have to die with me. You know, I mean, it's still very displayable after I open it. You know, open it from the bottom. But at the same time, like if you cut them off right here, what that does is it'll score it right along that seam right there, and you can. Do numerous things to make it seal back on there whenever you open them properly like that and uh, then you can actually store stuff in these cans that way and I would say that they'd probably rather have you take the top off that way gravity is not working against the contents knocking the bottom off all the time but then again I mean you're just as likely to hold it upside down now this B unit right here is crackers and candy it's a B1 unit and I'm I'm going to tell you already, I know that it has to be some sort of fudge or something like that in there because there's no there's no hard rattling around like uh, like there would be if there was a chocolate disc in there of uh, uh, like the ones with toffee, uh, sweet and enriched like this one right here. I think this is a toffee one or is this an almond one? Candy chocolate disc with toffee enriched. Enriched Sweet. Type 7, Style 3. Yeah, you can barely read it. If I turn just right, you can catch the words on it. But this is a really nice example that I pulled out of a can. It looks amazing. And it actually, it doesn't smell too bad now that it's been out of the can for a while. I think I might have probably eaten the other one, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh... Yeah, if you leave stuff like that out of the can for a while, it'll start to go stale, but it'll also lose some of that old, funky smell that it has sometimes. These cam wads are burning up with the quickness, which I haven't had them in a humidor or anything, so they've, they've dried out. I just have them in a bag, like a big Ziploc bag. And... Uh, They've obviously been open for a long time. I hadn't hadn't messed with these in a long time. But uh, that would be 30, uh, we'll call it 31, 32 years old, somewhere along in there. Something like that, maybe 33, depending on when they were made, actually. Might have been 88. Yeah. The camel wads don't taste bad though. They don't have that. Uh, they don't really have that urea flavor that, in my opinion, camels are notorious for. I'm not a camel fan, if you didn't know. The old ones aren't so bad. The non-filters aren't so bad when they age. All right, here we go. Let's see if we get any air. Now let me move the microphone. Let me move the microphone down here. I'm just gonna hang it. Let's see. I don't know, guys. Was there a hiss or no? 
I couldn't hear it. I think we got every fan in the house running right now. The one that I had has back in the day wasn't too bad. Oh, Robert. Hey, Bob. How you doing, man? I got something I got to send you, Bob. I got it out. Got it unpacked. And got it ready for you. I want to send you a couple other things, too. I don't know what, though. I don't. I, you seem like a guy that, uh, that probably has whatever I would probably send you. So... How were those eggs exactly how you would expect? <laughs> My buddies were like, what the? What are you doing with a five-pound bag? I think they're five pounds of powdered eggs. <sighs> Come on. Anything from you is good for me? Okay, all right. Well, uh, I don't know if you would uh, be interested in any of those cans that I opened from the bottom. I'll send you one or two of those as well. Uh, Got to get you a medium flat rate put together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. You can't go wrong with Mountain House. Mountain House, uh, they, they, they don't really screw up food. <laughs> Just about everything I've eaten from Mountain House, outside of the biscuits and gravy. The biscuits and gravy is just not, it's not up to par. They need sausage in it. They need to put sausage in the biscuits and gravy. Like Bob's doing. Bob, Bob's freeze-dried uh, biscuits and gravy is going to have sausage in it. Which it needs. Alright, there it is. Okay, initial smell is uh, fruity. Uh, yeah. Definitely smells fruity. A little bit uh, iron. I'm smelling a little bit of that steel. Um, that's probably from where I just cut it open, though. So, believe it or not, whenever you open these up, it actually gets warm if you do it quick enough from the friction of cutting through the metal. And you can smell it and it, it, it will permeate down into the can so when you pr first pull that lid up sometimes that metal you're smelling is from you just cutting it open yeah I don't smell it now it does it does smell a little musty all right well let's find out what we got in here we have four crackers Good. Nice little spread of crackers there. And we also have a little corrugated paper around the outside right there. What's this? Well, that appears to be in pretty good shape. Oh, the vanilla fudge. One and three quarters ounce. Made by the Falcon Candy Company in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The ingredients are sugar, partially hydrogenated oil. May can, it may contain coconut, palm kernel, palm kernel, palm soya, and or other cottonseed oils. Corn syrup, non-fat milk, sorbitol, uh, cocoa, propylene glycol, Sorbitol monosterate, uh, polysorbit, uh, wait, polysorbitate, sorbate, polysorbate, salt, egg, alb, albumin, 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 album. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Al, al, albumin, albumin. I don't know. Lectin. Uh, and emulsifier is lectin used as an emulsifier to binding agent. Um, artificial flavors. BHA is an antioxidant. So try to keep the oxygen from doing its thing. You know, I've never kept one of these sealed for display. I don't know if you guys can tell. But this almost looks like it's purple. 
in person. It kind of looks like it's coming across on camera a little bit. Okay, yeah. Oh, that smells absolutely horrendous. Oh, just smells like it. It smells like a dirty, musty car seat that got wet, and then it started growing that green uh, moss on it. And then you sat down in there, and all that those particles went into the air. That's what this smells like. It also smells like. Of course, it smells like bad sorbitol, because when that sorbitol goes bad, it's got a very distinct smell. It's not only the, the sorbitol; it's it's the fudge itself, the the combination of ingredients that have went bad. The chocolate coating itself has a lot of ingredients in it that will go bad. I mean, this thing's sealed up pretty good. What is that? What is that? Looks like rust, almost, but it's not. That's odd. Let me get inside this can. Inside the can looks absolutely perfect. A little corrugated paper there to keep it from bumping on the sides. Keeps that can really nice. Yeah, I wish, uh, wish I had one of those can openers so I could save these cans for reproduction all right well what do you guys think should i open this or no i'm gonna go for this middle cracker right here second from the top Let's see if it's got a crunch oh yeah really nice nice crunch not a whole lot of salt on these ones there's i mean there's plenty there but i've seen way more before uh did you ask about the pizza mre did you ask about the pizza MRE? Question mark. Who are you talking? Who are you talking about? There, Bob. All right, here we go. Down the hatch with the cracker. Mmm. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. That's horrible. It instantly sucked all the moisture out of my mouth. It's oh, so bitter. So bitter. Ooh. Salty. That's one of the worst crackers I've had out of an MCI can. I can't, oh my goodness. I need some coffee to wash that down. Mmm. Someone mentioned they never had a pizza. I've got plenty of loose individual pizzas. The Sterling pizza. I can't remember which one I have. I think that I think I do have the Sterling. Uh, <clears throat> what is it? Bridgeford makes the other one, right? Yeah, the, I think they're both fine though. None of the pizza's good on its own, in your opinion, Miss Renee? Huh? Uh, I I tend to disagree because. I'm looking at it as the fact that I can have a piece of pizza that comes out of a package that's been sitting there for years at this point. Some have been sitting around since 2018. I mean, we're in 2021, so this stuff's coming up on three years old. Some of it is three years old. And it still tastes perfectly fine. And honestly, I think it tastes it just it tastes just like a frozen pizza that you would uh, like a Totino's frozen pizza. And I don't mind those Totino's frozen pizzas, to be honest. I think they're actually pretty good if you cook them right in the oven. Cook like one at a time in a little toaster oven. And I like them. But that's an individual thing. Yeah, the, the cracker, these are literally some of the worst crackers I've had, if not the worst. I've never had one be so strongly bitter. The bitterness was the first thing that hit me outside of the vintage flavor that it has, which is that smell of uh, mildew, and then obviously the ingredients that have went bad in this fudge also leached into the crackers. But there's got to be some sort of shortening that's went rancid in, the, the, uh, in these crackers. I'm not exactly sure 
what the ingredients are in, in these crackers, but there's got to be some sort of shortening or something. Because I've had crackers, MCI crackers, uh, 15 years older than these, from 1960, well, no, older than that even. From 1963, from a case that I, I luckily bought years ago, and the ones that I have are, the ones that I've had out of there have been basically perfect. No complaints at all on the ones that I've eaten so far out of that case. I've only got a few left, and the way prices are on MCIs now, I can't, I can't afford to buy them anymore. I mean... It, I say if I ever ran out, I would I would buy more because this is my passion. This is what I love. This is what I live for, kind of, in, in some ways. I love vintage food. I love vintage military food. I really want to start dabbling around in the civilian vintage food that's out there and that, like, a couple people have sent me, Salty Crock Collectibles being one, and uh, some other people have sent me some other random items like drinks and things like this drink right here, booger button, booger button, I'm still going to get to. I should have actually probably done this tonight, but I just now saw it up there. So let me leave that sitting here where I will see it. And let's play, let's, let's find out what my fortune is. Huh? Let's find out what it says. I like fortune cookies, by the way. I like the way they taste. Okay, immediately it says beer. Why? Beer. Beer. <laughs> okay. Live, think, and act for today. Tomorrow may be too late. Lucky numbers, 23, 17, 45, 32, 18, 38. You know, those lucky numbers are pretty close to what I would consider to be some of my favorite numbers, like 23, 17, I like 7, and like 45, again, like that number, 18, and 8, and 38, both of those are good. Yeah. Live. <laughs> live. Think and act for today. I'll, I'll use live since I'm live right now. Tomorrow may be too late. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up or down, up or down, up or down. Either way. Either way. Who says that? Oh, yeah, Shoe Nice. That's the one. You guys ever watch Shoe Nice? You know who I'm talking about? Good old Shoey. I can't remember his first name. But his last name's Shoey, though. Uh, he faked eating the thing of deodorant. There's no way he ate the deodorant. No freaking way. Because uh, I watched this other redneck kid... Uh, Billy Goat something. Or maybe it was just Billy Goat. <laughs> he tried to eat a stick of deodorant. <laughs> and it was one of the funniest things I'd ever watched on the internet at that point. I laughed so hard. Yum. Let me look it up. Real quick. Oh, by the way. I should have mentioned this earlier. If you guys need any MREs, Art sent me some MREs. I haven't gotten them yet. They're coming, <laughs> I guess. I hope. But, if you guys need any, use. there's two different codes you can use. They're both for the same thing. OS10, so it's pretty simple. For, you know, two letters and two numbers, OS10. Or, Old Smoky 10 will give you $10 off. If you order every case of MREs that you order from Art and Nina at foreignmre.com, which is, there's their logo. If you type in foreignmre.com on the internet, it'll take you directly to their website. Love hanging out with the, the Smoky Streams. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sharon. Thank you for uh, the super chat. And uh, you didn't have to do that, but I super duper appreciate you. And Miss Sharon's been around for a long time. That's why she's a moderator. Because I made her a moderator way back in the day whenever I didn't even really know what a moderator was or done. Because <laughs> the live streaming was very alien to me. And a lot of people actually at that point. I think I've been live streaming now for probably going on four years. 
it's been a long time, and I have literally done probably a thousand live streams. I need to get, I need to check and do something really special for that one thousandth live stream if I haven't already done it. I mean, haven't already done the thousandth live stream because I may have. Uh, oh no, I haven't. What am I thinking? Jeez, I was thinking I'd done one every day like an idiot. Of course, I haven't done a thousand live streams. Jeez, uh, maybe I've done. 52 a year i would say i average that because sometimes i'll you know if i miss one i try to make it up or sometimes I, i've done two in a week it just depends it's very rare that it happens but it, but it happens um so maybe i've done probably close to 200 i would say roughly so maybe i should uh maybe i should hit like maybe i should if the 200th live stream i should do something special i mean four years of live stream is a long time dave we are live daniel what's up uh for that taste uh is the cyanide that taste is the cyanide. uh i'm gonna take an old dehydrated pork patty over the pizza on any day uh the old dehydrated pork patty eh, eh, it's pretty bland it's it's all right i mean I, i'm not going to complain about it but i'm also not going to act like it's good but at the same time I, I i do like vintage food so yeah no i would take the pizza i would take the pizza over the dehydrated pork patty which that's a freeze-dried pork patty they it's it's freeze-dried they call it dehydrated it's freeze-dried that's just like the the freeze-dried the long-range patrols that were made back in like 67 66 the ones in canvas bags they say dehydrated on them but if you try that food and you look at that food that food was freeze-dried i mean actually i think oh no 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 uh, i have some sitting right here as a matter of fact that i didn't didn't eat it's still fine though i will eat this it's, there's nothing wrong with it because i put it in a bag but this is the uh what is this what the frick is this can you remember oh it's uh beef hash that's what this is but if you look at that get a look at it real close focus there we go trying to get as close as I can get you almost a macro shot that is freeze-dried dehydrated when things are dehydrated they get very stiff and hard think about a banana a freeze-dried banana versus a dehydrated banana or a dried banana Yeah, Caitlin, it's definitely 100% freeze-dried. Uh, again, with the pork patty, I don't know why they were used. Maybe the terms back then were interchangeable. I don't know, but I can tell you by the weight of it, by how easily it breaks, by how soft it is, it's definitely 100% freeze-dried. If that pork patty is not freeze dried and it's actually dehydrated i would love to see what the process was to dehydrate a pork patty in that manner to make it come out that way i just can't i, I can't fathom in my head a dehydrating process that would do that to a chunk of meat that probably started out that thick i mean after you dry it out i mean you got to think it turns out those freeze dried pork patties are about that thick i mean they're they're as thick as that pack of wads all day long just about i mean if, if not very close to that make give or take a little bit you know it might be thicker might be a little thinner after it's quote unquote dehydrated and uh yeah i i don't know why it says dehydrated but I, i'm i'm a believer that it's freeze-dried i guess i could call mountain house on it see see what they say I do have some old mountain house meals. Uh, they're attempted like a civilian long range patrol. Steve and Shocker 
Oh wait, no. Shock. I gave one to Shocker. He did not do a review of it. He took a few pictures, but he didn't. He didn't actually review it. But Steve did review the one I sent him, and who else reviewed one? Somebody else reviewed one I sent to him. Can't remember if it was Sticky Fingers. Probably was Sticky Fingers. Yeah, you guys, Sticky Fingers link down there in my description. Uh, there's a link to Minotaur down there. There's a link to all kinds of stuff down there. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up or down. Don't forget to comment after this video uploads. Try to boost the algorithm. Share this video with anybody you know. You know, all that all that jazz. I wonder if I got the chocolate off this shirt. I doubt it. I got a freaking big water stain on it now, that's for sure. Can't believe I did that. It's alright. I wanted to wash and dry this shirt anyways. It's a large. Or it's an extra large. And it's just, it's a bit... It's a little bit big on me, actually. So, it just depends on how each shirt fits. But, uh, I, I typically don't dry my shirts. Because, uh, a couple reasons. But, I think drying them tears them up. They definitely don't last as long if you dry them every time. I'm going to end up getting this on myself again. I want to find a piece of hardtack in there. Maybe I ate it all. There we go. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Holy wow. Now that that is set much longer, that hardtack is just extremely soft. Extremely soft. That's not because there wasn't enough water there for it to absorb. Let's see what happened to the corn now. Pull the spoon out of this, I guess. I think I went through three or four different spoons this time. Corn nuts after, I don't know, a good 45 minutes to an hour in water. Still crunchy. Huh. Still crunchy on the inside. Yeah, guys, there's no point. And taking a little tiny nibble off of it just to tell you what I already know it's going to taste like from the smell and making my tongue numb and all that good jazz. I was hoping that it was going to be an edible one when I opened it, but it's not, and at least I still have the, uh, the vanilla fudge that is a good display item. These crackers. There's, no, there's not even a pest out there that would eat these. I'll bet a cockroach wouldn't eat that. I'll bet... A rat wouldn't eat that. I just, I just don't envision any living anything wanting to ingest this, mainly because of the smell. Hey, what's up, Robert? I see. Hey, Smokey. Hey, Eve. I see. Bob said that a second ago. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? How are you? Uh, how you guys been? It sounds like. I think that's what you meant. Right, avoid the rads. <sighs> what size shirt? Extra large is what I wear. And I'm trying to get back down to a large. I'm on my way. Hey, look at there, CT. Says the guy who drinks 80-year-old beer. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> thanks for the super chat, man. Uh, yeah, 80 year old beer. Why not? This one right here, last week's beer. Um, th the reason I picked this is because my grandma and my grandpa were big old Milwaukee drinkers, and that's what this can reminded me of was like the old, old Milwaukee cans that I remember as a kid. Just this color scheme, maybe it was. I don't, I don't really know. I don't remember them a hundred percent what they what they look like i'd have to look it up but this is from milwaukee as well wait brood wisconsin and illinois wait i thought it said something about milwaukee oh yeah milwaukee's choicest that's right right there milwaukee's choices that's one that i've got sitting here i got any others sitting here uh i got the got the harley beer which is not as old 
went right along with those camels though same year as the camels that's pretty cool yeah i don't know if that fella that does the uh repros would be interested in that can or not because i don't i don't think he can do anything with it since since the bottom's gone like that i've got i've got to remedy that before the next time i open a can whether it be on in a regular video or a live stream see if i was going to do a regular video though and i'm opening and say i've got a uh uh rci a ration combat individual from uh the same case me and steve actually got that case together that i found that case that uh steve ended up getting and i bought one off of him uh i definitely didn't get the one that was in the best shape and i don't think i don't know what mine's not in the greatest shape it's not in horrible shape either but uh I want to try to preserve that one as much as humanly possible when I open it up. But it's got all key open cans outside of the mains. I think the mains you have to open with a P38. And I really, I would like to preserve it, but making a video on it, I'll probably end up uh, opening everything with the keys the way it's supposed to be and praying for the best. Hopefully the B units are good and, and whatnot. I think it's got one B unit that should be good and one that will definitely be bad that had jam in it. And it's probably bloated. Everybody has an Uncle Bob, don't they? I don't... Wait. No, I had an Uncle Bill. He passed away. He used to work for the post office, I think. Or the postal service. I don't know. He used to have a postal truck. That, uh, one of those, like jeeps or not jeeps the ones that used to have the little sliding door on the side the tiny ones not tiny but smaller uh do i have a bob uncle carl uncle james uncle red uh mike kenny i don't think i have a bob so yeah i guess i don't have a bob yeah, I've put up all the uh, the cans that I've drank, and then I've got these flat tops sitting here. Got got the three of them that are super cool that Gabe sent along. There's two of them, and can I get the third one without knocking everything down? I guess I can. There we go. They all got flat tops. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. These are probably just aluminum cans. I don't know. They're definitely older, but they're not super old. Uh, I've got the Tech Premium sitting over here. And, oh, I got two Techs sitting over here. Two Techs. Two Tech Premiums. One of them appears to still be full, which is this one. not full <laughs> compromised and the other one I pulled the tab on instead of opened it from the bottom and I also have this insanely cool can <laughs> right here if I can get it out without knocking everything over there we go yeah I love this can <laughs> look at that can look at that wonder if she ever thought that uh, that she'd end up on a YouTube live stream on this can. How many years from when this was made? I mean, this was probably made in the 70s. Say, mid to late 70s, that would be my guess. Wait, right there, 1969. Pittsburgh Brewing Company. Fatima Yechberg. Oh, that's her name. Fatima Yechberg. Winner of the 1969 Miss Old Frothing Slosh Contest <laughs> was chosen on the basis of beauty, talent, poise, and quantity. And quantity. Okay. She is the woman who best symbolized Old Frothing Slosh. The pale, stale ale with the foam on the bottom. Whoa, really? That's weird. Now she's the girl all others look down on what 
That's the weirdest freaking can. Oh, that's just so weird. Oh, look, here's her background. Uh, she's from a small town outside of Pittsburgh. It's considerably smaller since she left. Jesus. Statistics. Uh, this you wouldn't believe. Occupation. Uh, trapeze artist. Education. Studying arc welding at night. Hobbies. Arm wrestling. Skydiving. Soap carving. Ballet. And reading. She reads comic books. Race forms. Cereal boxes. And other good stuff. Miss Frothing Slosh. Miss Frothing Sloshes. Formula for success. Think big. Um, cool. I mean, you tell me. Like, that right there is a huge tell of a different era. The fact that, like, <laughs> it's just, oh, I don't know. I, I dig it. I love history like this, because that, tell me that's not a piece of history. You go ahead and you try to tell me that. That, that is representative of an era of yesteryear. <laughs> I just, I think it's super cool. Love that can. I've got another one that's busted up of the same can, the same exact can. Uh, but it's, like I said, it's busted up. And then, like I said, the, the three, three can set there. But yeah. Bob, I'll, I'll figure out a can to give you. This one right here. This is one of the hardest to drink beers I've ever drank. It was very difficult to drink and keep down. Uh, this one wasn't bad. Definitely not the best beer in the world, but uh, easy. it was easy to drink. Still nice and carbonated, which is quite a bit fresher than others. I think this could have used less water. The drink mix. I think I could have put 10 ounces in that and it would have been fine. There we go. Let's see. Oh, I just got something else on it. That's probably the drink mix. <laughs> I think it's, I think it got it. I think. Pretty much, it's pretty much gone. This way I can look at the chat and my mom cried when I gave what? Oh, when 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 you gave her the prayer blanket, Miss Marilyn. So Miss Gail sent you a prayer blanket for your mom. That's cool. Yeah, where is Tracy? That's a good question. I ain't seen Tracy for a while. I used to uh, I used to let Tracy know I was going to do the live streams, but I just I decided not to continue to do that because uh, I feel like you probably didn't want me to do that, <laughs> and I definitely don't want to bug somebody. I I think I'm supposed to break that off there. I don't know. Uh, there are some bits of research out there. Hey, Dan, did you ever get your box, dude? Some research out there that say supermodel figure is what people think other people think is ideal. Not actually what is perceived as ideal. I mean, yeah, you look throughout the ages of what I'm um, sending you some of. Wait, what? Some of those camel lights from a keg. 92 just like you had this week oh i haven't had any of those in a while but i know exactly what you're talking about uh these right here yeah my can was a 60 count i believe these were these were lights the other i had were regulars uh yep 60 count uh you don't have to do that mr nay but uh you know, I'll take them. <laughs> uh, know when you do. Man, it's been a while since I got redirected your way. I'm just curious. Ooh. Ooh, whoa, what the freak. 
Oh, no way. That's so weird. Oh. I can't get over that smell. That smells like a dusty fart. <laughs> That's what it smells like. A dusty fart. I shouldn't be continuing to smell it. What is that? I mean, the chocolate doesn't look any different. I mean, it's bloomed, but it looks the same. Oh. It's really stinky, though. Uh, I've got to try it. Something has happened to this. I don't understand. It's bitter now. It's sour. The raisin, I think, is okay. No, it's not. I don't get it. What the... I wish you guys could smell this. It, like, takes my breath away. It really does. I don't understand what happened. It's just been sitting right here on my table. And it smells like... It smells like a dusty fart. Ugh. What in the world? Okay. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to... I... It tastes, it tastes kind of like that fudge smells, but the aroma that's coming off of this is absolutely astonishing to me. I've never had any other food smell like this before. I'm not exaggerating in the slightest. This is legit blowing my mind. I don't understand. I don't understand what could have happened to this thing in a week. Because it's been a week today. Like exactly seven days. Right now. Ugh. It has the oddest smell. That I've ever smelled. Especially coming off any type of candy bar or anything like that. It almost has a... It almost has like a poopiness to it. But also like very dusty. Have you guys ever like dusted a shelf in, I don't know where it would be, but have you ever seen like a bunch of dust in like say an abandoned house or uh, or in the garage or something like that and you brush it off the shelf and you know that smell of dust? Like dust has a pretty unique smell. It's the only thing I know that smells like dust is dust. Uh, and this candy bar. It smells dusty. I mean, it, it, last week it smelled and tasted like someone had stored it in a basement for many years and it absorbed that flavor of the, you know, the environment that it was in, like kind of mildewy and, you know, moisture and, you know, that I can't get over this smell. This is one of the most interesting smells. I mean, it stinks, but it's not it's not so bad that I that I did it. it. It does take my breath away a little bit though. I want you guys to smell this. Can you smell it? Oh.
See you later, Robert. Well, hopefully by next week I'll have that box to you too. I got got a few boxes I got to send out this week. Um, with some Patreon boxes that should be getting should be getting to folks. I don't know how many people I have left to send stuff to over there who haven't already gotten stuff. Probably not too many. Uh, yeah. So the Duncans. Let's see what happens in another week. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 absolutely curious to see. And before I put this up last week, I did exactly what I just done this week. I pinched it closed, and the original glue on this basically seals it back up. I mean, it's it's completely closed right now, and I can still smell it. It's not coming off my hands. It's coming off of this, 100%. It doesn't taste like it smells anymore. And it's definitely coming out of the inside, too. It, like, it doesn't smell like that on the outside. Ah, Chris. Good looking out. I almost forgot to go get the kittens. Can't wait to do this. This is gonna be this is gonna be a good one. I need to build this up, you guys. Let everybody know we're gonna be doing this uh, repro here, and I will also uh, I'm gonna break out an original MCI accessory packet to open up along with it uh, with the smokes, so we can somewhat compare, but also so I can have you know have a good vintage Vietnam era smoke or before no uh, yeah it'd be Vietnam era have to be all right let me flip the camera around and down and get rid of all this good stuff here let me get rid of this oh yeah got all kinds of cleanup to do this week after after I finish up <clears throat> lots and lots okay tray yeah empty pack put that put that right there I mean if you're looking for a breakfast meal, this one right here will definitely hit the spot for you, for sure. It's very savory, and uh, I like what's going on there. I would, you know, the cheese, it's, it's actually just as good without it, if not better. I think I kind of messed up by putting the cheese in it. I mean, I didn't mess it up, to, it, it still tastes good. Just It was just as good or better before. And I like the dessert idea. All right, get this out of the way. Where am I going to put it? about ready for the kittens all right let me go grab them and uh, I'll be right back after these messages gotta get everything out of the way before I go get them though I, I they were to eat those water purification tablets or a whole package of salt that would kill them a whole pack of salt would kill a cat a kitten anyway Okay. 
All right, I'll be right back, guys. All right, here we are, all five of us. All right, you're in here first, and you're second, big guy. He's freaking huge. And there's the runt, and there's the other one. It might be a runt as well. Uh, fix my tripod here. There we go. What you doing? What are you doing? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Looky here. Looky here. Still got blue eyes. You still got blue eyes. Be cool if they kept their mummy's eyes. He thinks I'm going to give him a bottle. I've been substituting uh, some of the mama's milk and stuff. Of course, they're all are their own food now. They they get wet food and dry food, both. And uh, somebody tell me, is that a boy or a girl? I think it's a boy. That looks like a boy. And look at this guy. Look how pretty. Look how pretty he is. He is a good boy. And I'm just about positive this one is a boy. I don't know. I don't know how to tell. No. No. You're going to have long hair. You're going to have long hair. Yes, you are. You're going to have long hair. Yes, you are. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's Smokey Kitty, yeah. He's cool. He's super cool. He's got a great attitude. Oh, both girls, CT says. Really? Interesting. Okay. Now this one, this is, uh, she's the only one that's, like, really eating solid food. Stay on your back, honey. I'm showing, showing you to the camera. Oh, look at you, you sweet thing. Oh, you sweet little girl. <laughs> you goofball. They're playing with the microphone. Probably gonna pull the camera over. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. Okay, come here, orange one. I think you're the only one that... Wait, I already had you on camera, didn't I? Who did I not have? The black one? I think you was already up here, wasn't you? Wasn't you already up here? Huh? Wasn't you already up here? Huh? Oh. Yeah, I always love runts, too. <laughs> they always seem to be the, the best natured. Although this runt is, is quite different than, than normal. She's a... She's she's different. Here's oh, look how blue his eyes are. Oh, here's a little boy, a little girl. It's a little girl, I think. You're a good one. Yes, you are. Here, 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 here. Daddy's got you. They're expecting me to give him a bottle because when I hold him like this, I hold him on on their back against my belly, against my well my chest probably more or less, and then I hold a little bottle right here in the corner of their mouth and they drink it up because mama mama is pretty well dry and i don't know like i never see any of them eating it except this one the only one i see eating is the runt she'll eat whatever i put in there um i always keep the the dry food plentiful and i give them these little cups of cut up food like two to three times a day and uh, she goes right for it. The little runt, she she digs right in. And uh, this guy right here, or this one, I don't know if it's a guy, but this one right here is absolutely humongous compared to the other three. 
What are you doing, little Garfield? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? You want Daddy to pick you up? Huh? Is that what you wanted? Here, come here. Come here. You got something in your ear. You gotta get it out. Oh, what? What is that? What is that? You got dirt in your ear or something. Uh, piece of cat litter. Is that what it is? Yes, because they like to play in the freaking cat litter like idiots. <laughs> Make me mad. Look at the camera. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. All right. <laughs> Get your feet down, goofball. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> you look like you're going 100 miles an hour. Oh. Aren't you guys playing with each other like you always do? Huh? Don't you guys play with each other like you always do? <laughs> Come here, gray one. Chew on me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my fingers probably taste weird because I haven't washed them since messing with that old food. <laughs> probably tastes weird, buddy. Probably tastes weird. Yeah. Take some video of him playing. I have been, actually. Um, I think I'll probably put a couple of the videos up on TikTok, so it'll only be like a minute at a time, but. Yeah, I'll probably put a couple of them up on there. I was going to do it every day, but it's like I ended up. I've been up out of town so much that it made it impossible. Uh, went out of town two weeks in a row. Went camping the week before with my buddy um, from childhood, and then was in Kentucky. This week. Shade up most of the week. Don't try to climb me, bud. Or girl, or whatever you are. Cat. <laughs> Kitten. Yeah, you want to play, aren't you? You want to play, aren't you? Look at you. You want to play? Huh? You want to play? Huh? You want to play? Come on. There we go. Yeah, they're starting to uh, they're starting to grow up. Unfortunately, if they could stay this size right here forever, <laughs> that'd be the, that'd be the coolest thing ever. Of course, they'd have a hard time surviving if uh, you know. That's why they they don't come in this size, I guess. Look at the camera! 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 Huh? There you go. Go ahead. Climb around there. Do what you gotta do. I got gotcha. you. I'm not gonna let you fall. <laughs> They're still, like, not the greatest at running. They run and fall still. Uh, their balance is a lot better than it was. But they'll still, they'll still run right off the edge of something. <laughs> so they're not the smartest cats in the world, I guess. Uh, I think all kittens do that, though. I think this is probably the fourth set of kittens that I've, you know, had. I had two sets at one time when my neighbor uh, 
when my neighbor shot himself and left two cats behind that were pregnant and I ended up bottle feeding and raising them and I, I did everything that the mommy did. It sucked. God, it sucked. I had to feed them every two to three hours, make them go to the bathroom, all that crap. And I still have one of those cats. Um, she's my baby. The other one um, passed away from feline leukemia that I had uh, from that from the that group of kittens there was a total of nine or ten of them I think and gave most of them away except for uh, the two that I had which was Brownie and Little Little and Little Little didn't make it I mean she did make it she lived a couple years but then she got sick and I did everything I could I took her to the vet had IVs put in her had them give her medicine did everything that I possibly could and uh, she passed away on me Oh, hey, there's a foreign MRE.com spork. You guys can get them over there still, I think. These things are titanium. You got a spoon on one side, fork with a little serrated edge on the other side, as you can cut a steak or whatever you need to cut with it. Nice little tool. But Art said he uh, he got the new shipment MREs in pretty pretty recently, and asked if he tried any of them out, and he said he had. Uh, I think he's even done a video on a couple of them, but he hasn't got them edited and put up yet. But he said that they are absolutely super fresh, and I think they have 2019 dates. So Best Buy data 2022, or uh, inspection date, not a Best Buy date. Inspection date 2022. Look at you guys. Look how fluffy you are. Look how fluffy he is. Or it is. You're so fluffy. You're so fluffy. I like that. I like that. I've never had a long-haired cat before. Never had one. Never had one. Gave a couple away that turned into long-haired cats. First set of kittens ever we ever had here. Um, I kept one that was solid black, which I still have. He's, I think my mom said they're nine years old. <clears throat> and uh, the one I gave my mom turned into a Maine Coon and I will show you guys the picture that I took of it the other day because the picture I took was really good but check this out I went down to my local courthouse and the local courthouse down here in Point Pleasant has a has a really interesting story behind it um, it, it back in the late 80s early 90s <clears throat> this man went in they used to, used to be a jail down there and this guy, he walked in to the jail, to the police station slash jail, and he had like a long coat on, like almost like a trench coat, and uh, he had a briefcase or duffel bag of some kind. The, the guy I was talking to that works down there has been working there for 30-some years. Couldn't remember what it was, if it was a, a little duffel bag or a, a like a briefcase-style thing. Well, he walked up, talked to the jailers and whatever, set that bag down, and it had, I think they said 27 sticks of dynamite in it. And he, he killed himself and his wife. And uh, two deputies killed the sheriff and a bunch of... Yeah, but anyways, that guy was telling me how haunted the, the courthouse is down there. Um, really interesting stories about how... He's usually the first one to come in in the morning, and he came in numerous times, and he would watch the door open on the other end of the building because he stands at the end of one hallway, and he said he could see the door opening on the other end. And people tried to play it off as there being a draft, but there was nobody coming in and out of the building when this was happening. And he also, um, he's seen things like shadow people and stuff. And this is an older man that doesn't seem like the type of person to believe in that type of stuff. He just did not come across as the type to... But he said, the things that I've seen and things that have happened, he's like, I can't deny what I've seen. And uh, anyway, I took this picture down there of this pop machine that is sitting in the courthouse down there. Look at the lady on this pop machine and that can behind her. How stinking cool is that? That is a pop machine that's still functioning. 
straight out of the 80s. That is an 80s pop machine all day long. The only, he said the only thing that's changed about this pop machine is the price. And probably that sign right there that says Pepsi. I mean, they probably update the Pepsi logo whenever they get a new one. But as far as the main graphics on this thing, still original. He said there was another one all the way upstairs that had a really cool original. It was on the fourth fourth or fifth floor, I can't remember. I think fourth floor that had uh that had a different graphic on it. But I just thought that would be that I just thought it was cool. Uh one of these days if I ever had the money, I might go down there and try to buy that pop machine off of whoever owns it. <laughs> Cause I think that's cool. Or I'd just say, hey man, I'll, I'll get you a brand new pop machine. If you want to trade me out, I'll uh, I'll take your old one. You you can have this new one. I mean, the 80s isn't that old, but the old Coke machines, in my opinion, are kind of played out. Everybody and their grandpa's got one, or had one sitting around out in the garage or something. I just thought that I just thought it was cool. Yeah, there's a I guess a different type of picture. I guess maybe I should have turned my camera sideways. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, um, here we go. Picture of my mom's cat, the one that turned up, the long hair. Oh, that's a better picture. And her tail, her tail, oh, Jesus. Cat, stop it. How did that even happen? Anyway, the cat's tail about that big around I mean oh Here you go little one just fell off the table but yeah she's a main coon she was a she was the sister to the one that we had and there's the other one that's also a main coon she's old now and she's lost a lot of her fur and she's getting skinny mom had to change her food up and stuff all right why are you climbing me i don't approve of you climbing on me little garfieldette oh <laughs> that was brave here get over here there you go there you go there you go I'm looking down at the chat, but it's not showing up on my screen. Of course, I have to touch my screen for it to pop up. All the years I lived in Conchi, Conchi, I never went to the River House. Went to Tony's and Joe's on Fayette a couple times a week, though. Sean, we will be there at the end of October. My nephew has a Maine Coon, Renee says. Yeah, my mom ended up with a couple of them. Not intentionally. Um, when they when she got them as kittens, you know, there was no way she could tell. But I think this one's going to turn out to be one. You're so cute. You're so cute. No, oh, you still don't have much coordination. Yeah, you missed my finger. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at everybody. Look at you guys. Just play it on camera. That's cool. That's cool. Used to work at the Rib House. Amazing food and people. Curious Pete says. That'd be a ton of fun, Pete. I have a feeling the little orange one will grow up to be a deviant. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one and probably that one right back there. She's always into everything. The runt. She, um, she's just ornery. She gets into everything. Uh, the black one right now is 
playing with a piece of tape that I have hanging off here over here that came off a box that I opened up at some point and left a piece of tape hanging there off the mantle. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? His dad, or this one right here is daddy, uh, showed up as a stray, had a collar that was literally embedded in its neck. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen on a cat. It stunk so bad. It was so infected. It finally healed, but it took almost, I don't know, probably 10 months to a year to heal. And his ears, behind his ears right here, is all tore up. He won't leave it alone. I put a cone on him all the time. One of those cones that the vets put on him. I put that on him all the time to keep him from scratching his ears off. Like he, I think he would scratch his ears completely off if he could. I mean... I clean his ears out. I don't see any mites in there. I don't know what is going on. My anniversary is on Halloween, so we are planning the PA vacation around then. October this year, I've got to go out west because I've got to go to a wedding that I'm actually looking forward to going to. I can't wait to see some of those people. Hopefully Josh will be there. Josh is a new daddy, uh, the co-host of Eating History. He uh, had a baby, probably been a couple months now. Yeah, probably right at a couple months ago. So Josh is a brand new daddy. What are you doing, black one? What are you doing? Black one, orange one, gray one, and runt. I have not named them. I will not name them because I have to give them away, and I'm already too attached to them. Got the wedding dress at David's. Mites are hard to get rid of sometimes and very hard to spot. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not what's going on. Maybe it is, but it sure doesn't look that way. Uh, I've had other cats that had mites and they ended up having black stuff all in their ears. And, of course, they had problems digging them too, like he does. So it's probably what it is. I know, Shocker. Cats do your job for you, I know. <laughs> if everybody had cats, nobody would need Shocker to do his job. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. I like uh I like the cats though. The little kittens. They're they're especially fun obviously when they're this age. They're they're like the perfect age right now. They are, what, five, five and a half weeks right now. So they'll be on two more live streams, and then they'll be going to their new homes. Um, they all already have homes. The little runt's wanting to climb me, and she is currently climbing up my shirt. I've got you, runt. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do you want me to do? Hold you? You want me to give you milk? I'm not giving you milk yet. We're going to do that after, after I clean up after the live stream. I'll give you guys milk and let you play. Okay. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, my goodness. What? What? You want me to take you to your mommy? Okay. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. You want to go to your mama? Huh? You want to go to your mama? Is that what it is? You want to go to your mama? All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the live stream. Let's see here. Got to, uh, got to, oh, hey, wait a second. Runt, I hereby dub the Brutal. Sorry, or is that, wait a minute, Brutal? Brutal. <laughs> Sorry, Smokey. I can't, I can't name it. <laughs> Thanks, Dan, for the super chat, man. Uh, dang it. Um, yeah, if I... <laughs> If I name them, I like just—I don't know. It just makes it makes it too personal. Makes me uh, makes me want to keep them, which I can't. I don't, I, I don't want to. I don't want to keep them. I I can have love for them, but uh, as long as they have good homes to go to, then I'll be fine. Uh, anyway, so I'm looking forward to trying out this cashew chicken right here. Also have that chili mac that's got to be tried. 
But if the Chili Mac is anything like that steak and macaroni and cheese as far as the macaroni goes, I was very impressed with how well the macaroni turned out because I've had a lot of freeze-dried macaroni before, and usually it gets it gets kind of weird. I mean, it just doesn't reconstitute right Mountain House's macaroni. Sometimes it just doesn't come back right. It stays tough, and it stays, like, I, I don't know. I guess tough is just really what I'm looking at there, chewy, and the flavor's not all that great for as far as a pasta goes. Uh, not to say that Mountain House's is bad, but it's just nowhere near as good as what I tried at Bob's the other day at Minotaur. So... I'm looking forward to seeing that steak and mac and cheese or mac and cheese and steak. I don't know how you'd want to put that. It's probably going to have more steak in it than mac and cheese. So at least the one I tried did. Um, so macaroni and cheese with steak. But gosh, I am. I'm looking forward to that main. And also trying these other ones out. But for now, well, I don't have the box. Uh, it's got stuff in it. I can't fold it back up right now. It's got drink mixes in it and other stuff that I moved so that the cats wouldn't get in it. And run, you can't go over that way. You can't go over that way. No, 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 no. Dan calls you brutal. Dan calls you brutal. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. They just go limp in my hand. And just like, look, they just like flop down in my hand. It's weird. But anyway. I would suggest go over there, look and see what Minotaur's got. They're being very innovative over there. All types of freeze-dried stuff. So you can definitely meet your freeze-dried needs and wants over there. And if you're looking to prepare for anything or stock up your food rations for long periods of time, the shelf life on these things, they're getting tested in a uh, local science food lab for shelf stability, how much food loss they have over however many years, and uh, you guys, I would definitely suggest checking out what they got over there. Use that code OS10. OS10. Get yourself 10% off your entire order over there at Minotaur. I do not make anything at all from that. I have never made anything from anything that I've done like that. The only thing I'm doing is passing along savings. I mean, you can ask anybody that knows anything that I don't... I'm not in this for that type of stuff. I'm just not. I'm not in it to make money. I'm not in it for anything like that. I'm in it because I enjoy it. And the fact that I get to pass along savings to you guys is is reward enough for me. Yes, come on up here, Orangey. Come on, Orange One. Little Garfield. High grade one. You gonna climb up me too? Why is everybody climbing up me? I don't get it. You climbing that runt? You gonna climb up that box runt? Huh? You gonna get up there runt? Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm trying to wrap up the live stream so I can take you guys back to your mama. And I got to feed you guys. But, all right, guys, um, check out Minotaur. Check out uh, 4nmre.com. They've got the uh, the cases of, they've got cases of meal cold weathers. They've got cases of uh, first strike rations. I think they still have some. And they have run stop, and they have cases of plenty of cases of A and B MREs with nice fresh dates on them. They're 2019s. Uh, I don't know what exact month of 2019, but 2019s. I think you get. A, I think after you use the code, you get a case for 100. It's like 90 something, 99 bucks, something like that, shipped. And uh, if you've ever shipped a case of MREs, you know it is not cheap to ship a case of MREs. Typically, when I've shipped a case of MREs, it's cost me between 30 to 39 bucks to ship a case of MREs. It's not cheap. Um, because, I guess because of the weight and the size? I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, tomorrow, Ration Museum live stream, 5 p.m. Come and hang out with us over there. Uh, we definitely appreciate you coming and hanging out. And... Uh, Throwing in your two cents into the chat. We love to hear from you guys. And I want to say a huge thanks to each and every person that has taken their time out to hang out on this live stream in this community tonight. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up or down either way. I, I don't ask for you to do it either way. I just, you know, just do it. You know, if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it either way. Either way. And leave a comment after the video uploads. I'd appreciate that as well. 
Oh, you resting your little head on my hand. Oh, that is too cute. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Daggone it. They, they distracted me. Um, I want to say a huge thanks to my patrons as well. And also want to say a huge thanks to the fellow that sent along the reproduction MCI. I can't wait to tear that thing in, in a new butthole on one of these live streams. So uh, what will be cool about that is I can actually refill it according to what he said. I can actually refill it and uh, and still have it usable after that. So, yeah, that'll be nice and cool. And there's G. Schultz. Hey, what are you doing, G. Schultz? I, he should be doing a live stream coming up pretty soon, I think. Um, but anyways, guys, I think now, I don't know. Did I cover everything? I think I did. And thanks to anybody that sent in a super chat tonight as well, Dan, um, who else sent one in? Uh, trucker. Uh, uh, yep, I'm drawing a bl I, it, brain fart. Everybody who sent in a super chat, guys, thank you so much for that. I do definitely appreciate it. They're chewing through my microphone as we speak. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. <laughs> uh, hey, let go, guys. Come on. I don't want you chewing through that. I don't think it hurts you, but at the same time, I don't want you chewing up my microphone. Um, all right. Well, I guess now, really, all I got left to do, look, see the runt? She just loving on me. She just loving on me. Yeah, it's on your sweetheart. Oh. All right, guys. I guess now all I got left to do is say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next live stream. Later, guys.